Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to solve each equation for x. And we're going to do this by using the relationship between logarithms and exponentials, where if we have the equation b to the x equals y, this is equivalent to log base b of y equals x. So we're going to do that here. ln of x squared minus 1 equals 3. ln is log base e of x squared minus 1 equals 3. And now we can use this relationship to say e to the third power equals inside x minus 1. We can add 1 to both sides. Or maybe it'll be easier to subtract e cubed, just to demonstrate something. 0 equals x squared minus, we are subtracting 1 and we're subtracting e cubed. So if we take this as the difference of squares, um, even though it might not seem obvious why we're doing this, can say this is x plus the square root of this times x minus the square root of this. And this is the same thing as saying x squared minus y squared equals x plus y times x minus y. The reason I'm doing this is so we can remember that if this is 0, then this has to be equal to 0. or this has to be equal to zero. Therefore, x equals a negative square root of one plus e cubed, where x equals positive square root of one plus e cubed. These are the solutions to this equation. And here in B, we actually have a little bit of a different uh, type of problem going to require an extra step, so I'm actually going to cover this up so we can write it on a different page. And actually, let me grab this paper right here. The way that we're going to solve this, e to the 2x minus 3e to the x plus 2 equals 0, the way we're going to solve this is by noticing what it looks like, right? Where have you seen a trinomial format like this many, many times before? solving quadratics. If we say let y equal e to the x, then e to the 2x is y squared, e to the x is just y plus 2, and now we can just solve this quadratic, y minus 2, y minus 1 equals 0. And like before, either this has to be 0, or this has to be 0 for their product to be equal to 0. Therefore, solving these little uh, equations right here, y equals 2, or y equals 1. Therefore, either 2 equals e to the x, or 1 equals e to the x. For this um, last step that we have to do, we have to use this relationship once again. So therefore, log base e of 2 equals x, or log base e of 1 equals x. Therefore, log base e is ln of 2 equals x. ln of 1 equals x. These are the two solutions. And the natural log of 1 or any log base of 1 is 0 because any number to the 0th power equals 1. So therefore, this is just 0, so either x equals ln of 2 or x equals 0. This is the solution for b, and x equals positive or negative, the square root of 1 plus e cubed is the solution for a.